Good morning. Let's do this again. Hold on. My name is Haley and I am the author of HaleyWithAFlare.com. I am a travel blogger that specializes in land, cruise, and Disney travel. And I also dabble in lifestyle posts like plus size fashion and other family posts. Thanks so much for joining today. Okay, we can start over now. I'm very fortunate to be sponsored by the Time Nyack Hotel from Dreams Hotel Group. Their link is going to be down there, so make sure you check them out. Beautiful boutique properties, definitely not cookie cutter. You will not be disappointed. Let's take a look at pretty right now so I can give you a quick overview so you can see where we're staying. Time Nyack is a beautiful lifestyle boutique hotel featuring 123 guest rooms and 10 suites. We stayed in a double loft room with comfortable beds and a fantastic shower. The overall design is a blend of elegance and art with the gritty industrial factory roots of the building. The hotel features an on-site restaurant with outside patio and an outdoor pool. The rooms feature many great amenities like Keurig machines and mini refrigerators. Check out the link below for more. I picked this hotel because it is boutique, because it is unique, and I really want to showcase something that you guys maybe haven't seen before. The location is great. It's just across the river from Terrytown and Sleepy Hollow where we're gonna be doing some Halloween fall festivities tomorrow and throughout the weekend that you're gonna see here. But do it, I'm hungry. We're gonna go try out this hotel's restaurant right now. Let's go. The Grill at Nyack is an upscale American fusion restaurant. You have to try their steaks and burgers. All of their meat is aged. It is just absolutely to die for. I didn't have a time to take a ton of video, but highly recommend it. My burger was great. Jeff's filet was fantastic. And the crab avocado appetizer was everything. Make sure you give it a try. So we've made it over to the path here in Nyack. There are two sides to the path. One's here in Nyack. The other is across the Hudson River in Terrytown. It is a 3.6 mile bike and pedestrian path that has opened up with the Mario Cuomo Bridge that has different lookouts. It's 3.6 miles each way. We're not going the full distance today. I think we'll come back with bikes at some point in time in my life because I think it's really neat, but it just opened this year. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's go. The views from the path are absolutely breathtaking. I highly recommend doing this. After we spent time on the path, we headed back into Nyack, went into the downtown area, and headed over to Prohibition River for some drinks and dinner. This place is great. I highly, highly recommend the grilled cheese shooter appetizer. The sandwich that I had with shrimp was great. We even played some cards. Everybody loved this restaurant, and they have a great selection of beers and drinks on tap as well. Bunch of party goers here. So we precluded the night by ordering dessert to the room and watching TV. That banafi pie actually looks really good. The front desk agent recommended it earlier. Woo woo, what a bunch of party people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, day two, we're crossing the bridge. <laughs> All over the Hudson. So if you look all the way down the river, you can start to make out the Manhattan Skyline. So this is the food truck park. <laughs> Welcome, mere mortals, to the hometown of the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Although COVID has canceled a lot of the normal Halloween festivities, there is still a lot to do. You can go to the cemetery by the Old Dutch Church where the author, Washington Irving, is buried, 
along with the famed Hesse and another famous president. You can also opt to visit Washington Irving's sunny side while you are here or opt for a lantern cemetery tour. I highly recommend checking out the cemetery earlier in the day because it does get busy and there is not a lot of parking. You in essence park on the side of the road all the way down, so make sure you get there early. Normally, there are Halloween festivities and activities every weekend, so if you can't make it this year, put this on your list for next year. Don't forget to get photos near the Headless Horseman Bridge and Statue. See my links below for things to do in the area. After Sleepy Hollow, we headed back into Terrytown to hang out by the Hudson Historic Scenic Riverfront and get a quick bite to eat before heading up to Crowtown to do the jack-o'-lantern blaze later. This scenic riverfront is a must do. It's so relaxing, great for kids, great for pets. So we made it to Crowdon. Streets are cute, decorated here in town for Halloween. And we are going to the Blue Pig for ice cream. Here we are. I'm surprised at how many vegan items you guys have. Absolutely. Mm. Everything's homemade from the whipped cream to the hot fudge. So we showed up about an hour early and watched The Addams Family on Netflix in my car. Arriving to the Blaze, there's a huge parking lot. They do not let you in until roughly your time to vent. How spectacular is this? The Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze is the Hudson Valley's most exciting Halloween event. I have been wanting to do this for years now and finally had the chance to. The event takes place at the Van Cortlandt Manor in Crowdon on Hudson. This trail is illuminated with over 7,000 handcrafted illuminated pumpkins. As you walk through the trail, there is a creepy tune playing all throughout, as well as synchronized lighting. There are plenty of photo opportunities through different parts of the trail. As you'll see, each trail has a series. This Headless Horseman Bridge was probably my favorite. You could hear the horse prints. Oh, it was amazing. Tickets start at $24 and are free for members of Historic Hudson Valley. Tickets can be bought online. See the link below. This event sells out fast, so if this is on your list, make sure you get your tickets purchased ahead of time. The next morning we headed over to Slotesburg. This is where my brother lives. He highly recommended Auntie L's Country Stand and Bakery. This is a cute little pumpkin stop if you are looking for a little fall farmer stand style. Great fruits and vegetables, jellies, butters, you name it. The highlight though here is definitely the bakery. There is anything that you could possibly want here, especially New York style cheesecake. After that, we headed home. It was a beautiful ride. If you have questions, leave it down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.